Hey guys, it's BD. The channel is Miss BD, and this video is sponsored by healthjobs.co.uk. Okay, so in this video, I am going to quickly talk about how I got into optometry school. Now, I'm from the UK, I live in England, um, and so this process is gonna be about how to get into optometry school in England, because I know it's different in different countries and different places and stuff, but this is for how it works in the UK, okay? All right, so a question I get asked a lot is what A-levels I took in order to apply for optometry and by UCAS. Um, I did optometry, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I did biology, chemistry, maths, and English language at AS, and then I dropped maths. So for A2, I just did biology, chemistry, and English language. Usually, they're gonna ask you for two science subjects. So that could be biology, chemistry, or physics. Um, and then I just did English language because it was, you know what I mean, like a bit of English lang. Um, and then when I went for my interview, actually, the woman was like, she was kind of happy I had English language because it kind of helped when it came to essay writing, dissertations, that kind of thing. But like, don't do English if you don't like English. Like, it's really not that deep. Do you know what I mean? In terms of um, entry requirements and stuff like that, I've looked through a couple of websites and usually they're going to be AAA or AAB but it depends on where it is you're trying to go. Um, Manchester for example is AAB with the A's being in the science subjects. So in my A2 at the end of A level I ended up getting AAB and that was A's in biology and chemistry and then a B in English language which I'm still kind of salty about I'm not gonna lie but we move. So when you're applying for UCAS and things, you get five choices. Um, you pick the five universities that you want to apply to. Now, bearing in mind with optometry, not every single UK uni offers optometry. The ones that do, to the best of my memory, are um, obviously Manchester, my babes, um, Aston, City, Portsmouth, Plymouth, Hertfordshire, Bradford, Ulster, Andy Ruskin, a few moments later uh cardiff bristol and glasgow i think in terms of picking choosing the university obviously the grade requirements are important so you want to go or you want to apply to a couple of places you know you can get into maybe shoot a little bit higher for where you kind of want to go but not sure if you'll get in because you actually never know like that might be you do you know what i mean um and then somewhere where it's like mm, don't really want to go here, but if worse comes to worse, then I'll firm it and I'll go there, yeah? When considering where you want to go, please, please, please bear in mind um, the city itself, because obviously you want to go there because of the course, like you know what the course is like and you're going to do your research about it and stuff. Um, but bear in mind you are going to be in that city for three years because the BSc in optometry is three years. Some places offer like the M Optom, so Masters of Optometry, which would then be four years. So you're going to be in the city for three or four years. You want it to be somewhere that you can find enjoyable. If you're a big city kind of girl like me, I live in London and I wanted to go to somewhere like London, but not London, um, which to me was Manchester. It's going to be Manchester or Birmingham. So if you kind of want city life, then cool, go to one of them. If you want something a bit quieter, then cool, go somewhere else. But just think about the fact that you're gonna be living in this city and uni is Monday to Friday, do you know what I mean? Like you're still gonna have to live life um, on the weekends and whatnot. So yeah, that's just how you get into optometry school in the UK. Of course, you're gonna to need to write your personal statement um, and I think I've done a video on this already. I'll link it above, but in your personal statement, you just wanna show that one, you really wanna do the course um, and why you really want to do the course and why you want to go to that particular university because like I said there's others that offer the same course um, and just basically big yourself up your personal statement is just for you to be like listen I'm lit you want me yeah and I want I want you do you know what I mean so <laughs> but yeah guys so a levels personal statement and application and then deciding what university you want to go to and then obviously working really hard so that you actually get you actually get the grades for the offer that you receive yeah i've made a video about how i revise i've made a video about my exam tips and tricks as well so i'll leave those links too so you can kind of watch those but yeah you'll be fine do you know what i mean like once once you've decided optometry is what you want oh also See if you can get some work experience as well. That's always, I mean, I didn't have any of this, but that's always nice to say that you've had, and it also lets you know if that's what you want to do. Because you might do a day of work experience at an opticians and be like, that ain't it, y'all, you know? So yeah, I would say, 
do some work experience if you can and if you do mention it in your personal statement as well so yeah i feel like this video has kind of been all over the shop but you know you, you know what i mean yeah a levels UCAS application personal statement picking a uni getting your grades and going to uni yeah so that's my video on how i got into optometry school and i hope that if this is what you want then you get into optometry school as well i've got more videos about this sort of topic so like i said i'll leave them linked down below any questions any comments then let me know um if not i'll see you in my next video